Let us try to solve the problem number 5 in the part A of Thurston BC. This is the problem and the problem says that uh, write a C-sharp program to check if the number is prime. Otherwise, display the factors of that number. So I'm going to go ahead with the Visual Studio and I'm going to click on the new file over here, the file new. And then I'm going to select the project over here. So I'll select this project. And under this project, I'm going to click on the visual C sharp. So that is what I want. No, it's, it's a visual C sharp program. In, in particular, it's a C sharp program. But I'm going to select this console application. And at the bottom, I will give a proper name for uh, this particular program and I'm going to say check for prime you can give any name and definitely you need to save it uh, at a proper location as uh, specified by your uh, class teacher so save it uh, in that location but uh, I am going to save it uh, in the default location let me click OK and this is what uh, I'm going to get and uh, you know very well what is a prime number so a prime number is a number that is uh, divisible by 1 and itself. So that is what is the prime number. So if a number is divisible by 1 and itself, then such a number is called as the prime number. And by definition, any negative number, so numbers which are less than 0, this is by definition are not prime and also for your kind information 0 and 1 are also considered non prime so if you have confusion just uh, google that whether is 0 a prime number is 1 a prime number or is 0 a uh, negative number is a prime number on google it or uh, use the chat gpt and you get the answer for that if you really want to know the mathematics behind it, please go to the mathematics department and ask them why these are considered as non-prime. So our numbers will start from 2 and it will go on. Okay. So the general question is how do you find the prime number? How do you check that given number is a prime number? Suppose if the number is given, 18 is the number that is given you start dividing it by 1 and you know very well 1 divides almost everything so there is no question in dividing anything by 1 because it's going to divide it start dividing it by 2 if 2 divides it then it is not a prime number because there is one other factor than 1 and 18 remember if it is a prime number only 1 and 18 must only divide it if something else also divides it then it is not a prime number now coming back to the definition so let's take 19 is 19 a prime number how do you do that thing so one will divide it forget it you start dividing this uh, by two if two does it divides it it is not dividing it does three divide it it is not uh, dividing it if does four divides it it's not dividing it does five divides it it is not going to divide it six will it divide it no Will it 7? Will it divide? No. 8? Will it divide? No. 9? Will it divide? No. Should I check for the 10, 11, 12 and up to 19? The answer is no. It is not required. Take this 19 here. Take the half of it. So half of it is 9.5. Exactly if you want to no, uh, see that if you divide half of 19 is 9.5 remember if 9 is not dividing any other number 10 11 12 cannot divide it because 9 is the last number that it can divide so if just take for example take this 9 how many times 9 will divide it 9 will divide it once and there is going to be some remainder okay what about uh, 8 Take this 19 and uh, divide it by take this 19 and divide it by 8 8 will divide at least once 8 will divide it then you get some remainder forget that remainder at least it will divide it once take 19 now divide it by 10 10 will not even divide it even once 
So the, there is no question of getting remainder of anything. It cannot divide it. So the last number that you can think of dividing is the half of it. So suppose you are given a number 25. So how will you start checking this number? You start from 2. You see whether 2 will divide, 3 will divide, 4 will divide. What is the last number that will divide? Take the half of 25. That is 12. If 12 is not dividing it, 13 cannot divide it. Why 13 cannot divide it? 13 into 2 is 26. So 13 can't even divide it once. Forget about the others. 2 may divide it many a times. 3 may divide it many a times. 4 may divide it many a times. But 13 will not be able to divide it even once. So the last thing that you do is go for the half of it. Now there is a twist for this story. If you ask mathematicians, what they will say is, given any number, let's take this uh, number itself, 19, take the square root of this number, square root of this number. So what is the square root of number? I don't know what is the square root of number, but I know that 16, square root of 16 is uh, 4. I know that. Square root of 25 is 5. So this number is a square root of 25 is 5. You, I know that thing. So this number lies between 16 and 25. So this means it is 4 point something. Okay, I am going to take the integer value. If a number gets divided or if it is a prime number, 2 to 4, any number, 2, 3 and 4. If none of them divides it, then I don't need to check for the others. So let me take the prime number and let me show you. I am going to take 18. So what is the square root of 18? You will say that it is 4 point something sir. I am not interested in that point something. I will take fix it to 4 itself. Okay. The point I don't want. So start to divide. Take this 18. Divide it by 2. Will 2 divide it? Yes, then it is not a prime. I don't need to check for the whether 3 divides it or not. If you find any other factor apart from 1 and itself, then there is no point in checking for the others. It is not a prime number at all. Okay. So let's go and uh, let's uh, check for uh, this 21. Okay. 21. What's the square root of uh, 21? Again, you will say, sir, this is 4 point something. I will fix for the 4 itself. Okay. So 2 will it divide 21? No, answer is no. Will 3 divide this one? The answer is yes. It's the end of it. There is no need to check even the 4 will it divide it or not. You get one more factor apart from 1 and 21. If you get one more factor that can divide this number, then it is not a prime number. So it is as simple as that. So I will fix myself. So you start given any number for that matter. So suppose you, if you are given a number n, so take the square root of n from 2, 3, 4 and so on up to the number that is the square root of this number. If any of these numbers divide the given number n, then it is not a prime number. So that is the idea that I am going to use it. So let's check whether given number is a prime or not. I am going to declare few variables over here. So I will start with the int. I will take int n as my number. That's it. And I am going to take a boolean value saying that boolean is prime equal to true. So what is this so that I am initializing it. I assume that the given number is prime. So this is my initial assumption. Any number that is given to me is a prime number. So let me write a few things over here. So I'm going to say console dot. I'm not going to use the right line. Instead of that, I'm going to use control dot write, and I'm going to say enter a number. I'm going to say that enter a number. So that's it. And I'm going to read this number. To read this number, you know that it is a console dot read line. I'm going to read line. Now this is a text, so I need to convert it into integer. So I'm going to say int dot parse, and I'm going to open and put this whole thing 
inside that uh, int dot parse. So I got this number. Let me give some space over here. At the end, I want the program to stop. And uh, in your uh, C program, you are uh, familiar with this get ch method. Uh, instead of that, uh, I'm going to use this uh, console dot read key. Okay, so this is the same as uh, your get ch. So I'll keep it at the end so that uh, the program will halt there. So what is that uh, we are supposed to do is uh, we have to start dividing the number one after the other until you find something that divides the number. So I am going to use the for loop. So I type for and I will press double tab, two times tab on my keyboard. The Visual Studio will do the needful things to me. So don't start typing it. Allow the Visual Studio to help you out with this. So i is equal to zero it assumes but I want to start with i equal to two. And then I want to do something. Now, one other thing is uh, generally, you can straight away do it. Generally, your examiner expects you to handle the first few things. What are these first few things? If a given number is less than zero, or if the number itself is zero, or if the number is one, then they are not prime number. So you are supposed to handle that thing. So I'm going to just handle them. So generally, uh, examiner expects you to do that. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write if, and I'm going to press tab two times. So if the given number is less than two, okay, then I'm going to say CW and double tab, console.write line, and uh, I'm going to say, it is uh, it uh, is not uh, a prime not right space is not coming it is not a prime number okay so i'm going to say that okay. else i will try all the tricks later so if number is less than see by definition why this is there this is by definition if you have confusion please uh, google it or go to mass department and ask them why it is so let me go ahead with the for loop now. So I'm going to say for i is equal to not zero. I will start with the i is equal to two. And what is the last value I am supposed to go is it is math dot. By the way, look at here. I am not typing. I'm allowing. I'm asking the Visual Studio to type everything for me. So do not type something. Give a hint to the Visual Studio and press tab. Visual Studio will do the needful thing. Otherwise, uh, you will start something in small case and uh, something in capital. And for your kind information, C Sharp is uh, unlike your C program. C Sharp is also case sensitive. So be careful. It's not VB that anything and everything is okay with uh, VB, but uh, anything and everything is not okay with the C Sharp. So allow Visual Studio to complete uh, the formalities like the syntaxes so that uh, you don't mess up with the syntax and uh, you don't have to break your head during the examination. So I'm going to do and uh, I'll go up to this part and uh, I'm going to type if and I'm going to press uh, double tab here and I'm going to say if n mod i is equal to zero then I'm going to say E is prime. My assumption was that uh, it is uh, a prime number. Then my assumption is now false. Okay. See, my assumption was any number that was given to me is a prime number. But now my assumption is uh, false. Okay. So my assumption is false here. And there is no point in checking. Even if uh, you get uh, one other put a break here. Even if you get uh, even one number divides. Uh, then it's all over. If two divides it, then it's all over. There is no need to check for three. There is no uh, need to check for four and so on. So for if two divides, it's the end of it. Let's go ahead and let's um, come out of this uh, for loop here. So this is your for loop. And after coming out of this for loop, so this is the for loop, wherein you are checking. And if the number divides it, you break and come out of this for loop. And outside this for loop, you just check if is prime so this is my initial assumption if it is prime then i'm going to say control uh, 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 console dot write line and say it is a prime number so this is what i'm going to say okay. else i'm going to say it is not a prime number so i'm going to say 
it is not uh, a prime number okay this is not don't be happy now don't get excited this is the half of the program this is not the full program let me first write uh, run this particular program and see whether i get the prime or not okay if i don't get the prime or not there is no point in doing anything okay so just type of five you know very well five is a prime number yes i get it I run it one more time and I'm going to type the 6 here. It's okay even if you don't see it on your mobile screen, it's okay. I'm just checking whether 6 is a prime number. It is not a prime number. So I got this too. Now let's go back to the problem here. And what did they say? If it is not a prime number, then display all the factors. So what does this mean? Suppose you are given a number 18. Let's say, where is this 18? You are given a number. 18 is not a prime number. Then you have to get the factors. You know very well, first factor is always one. One will always divide anything and everything. Integer. Remember, I am only talking about in terms of integer. Mathematical people may have objection if I say that. But so for us, one divides everything. Then if two divides it, then write two. 3 divides it, write 3. Uh, 4 is not dividing, forget it. 5 is not dividing, 6 is dividing, and 9 is dividing. You get all of them. Remember, last thing that's going to divide it is the half of it. So always remember, 10, there is no point in checking for 10 because uh, 10 will not divide this number at all. It will not even divide once. So last is half of it. So remember that. You go up to half of it. This time there is no reduction i will not go to square root because if you take the square root of 18 uh, it's going to stop at this point one two three will only say other factors it will not show so i want it to be show, uh, to show all the factors so if it is not a prime then i'm going to say it is not a prime and what does uh, they say display the factors of this number so i'm going to continue there and you know very well in c you have to write a slash n to get the get to the new line so i'm going to say it is not a prime number factors uh, of uh, or its factors are let's say its factors are okay i'm going to just uh, put like this its factors are and i'm inside the if statement i'm not coming out of this uh, else statement now this is not a prime number so let's start with the for loop again for remember before i do the for loop first like, let me write the default one i'm going to say cw not control i i don't want this uh, right one is always dividing so remember that so given any number so you don't need to break is 27 a number i don't know okay it may not be is 100 a prime number it is not a prime number and you know very well one will always divide it 27 is not a prime number or it is a prime number i don't know but i know that one will always divide it so one is always a factor that is what i have written regardless of checking anything I know that one will divide that. So first factor will be one itself. So that's the first one. Okay. What about the other numbers? So let me start with the for loop. I'm going to press double tap. For i is equal to 2, I'll start with the i is equal to 2. But unlike the last time, this is just for checking for the prime number. But now I want to get all the factors. So I'm going to say n by 2 up to that point n by 2 i'm going to do that thing and i'm going to check if so what is that what did it say if okay n mod i did i write n mod 2 here okay n mod i if n mod i is equal to 0 that means it is dividing it so i'm going to say cw remember there is a difference between saying con uh, the console dot write line and console dot write. Now I want the generator. Let's go here. I want to generate the things like this. One is already printed here. One is already printed here. Then I want a comma and the next number. Okay. So I'm going to put the comma first here. First thing is comma. I want one small space one space and a comma remember it is not direct comma there is one space here then a comma 
then that value of i. So it looks nice. So how is it going to come? Is if you look at the output, it's going to come like one, then immediately comma, then a space, then maybe if two is there, two, then a comma, then a space, then a three, then a comma, and so on. So it looks nice. Okay. So that is it. Let's go. Okay, and you print all of them. Remember, one will divide if you are given a number. Say 56. Is it a prime? I don't know. If it is a prime, one will divide it, and 56 will also divide this number. So these two are definitely the factor. So in between one and 56, you have to find the number. So this is. Between one and the 56 or whatever number that you are taking, you find the number, and this is the last one to be printed. So again, I want the comma, then a space, then the number n, the number itself that was given to me. So this is what I am supposed to do it. Let's run and see whether we are getting the output. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to run this particular program. Oh, I have not done any mistake. Give it a try. So enter a number, and uh, if I write uh, the given number is prime, that is uh, uh, say 20, uh, to, uh, 27, I think 29. Let's say 29. I don't know whether it divides. Uh, it is a prime number. Okay, that's good. But what if it is not a prime number? The story is uh, not with the prime number. Now the story is with the not a prime number. Hundred, many things will divide. So press enter, and who is going to divide this hundred? Uh, one, two, four. Oh, I, I think uh, I put the spacing mistake. Is there? Okay. Did I put the space first or space next? So this problem is there. I think I should have put the space, uh, the comma first, and then the space. Uh, it is not uh, here. It is coming properly, and uh, here all the things are not coming properly. So that it's not uh, a mistake. It's just uh, my logic. Uh, it should have been other way around. You put the comma first and then the space. Okay, so comma and the space. Let me give it. Uh, Uh, try now. This is a logic is proper, but uh, only thing is uh, it's not coming properly. Okay, not uh, the answer. The output is not coming properly. Answer is correct. Okay, so now now it is proper. Okay, two then space uh, one space two space then comma see this comma then uh, it is now coming late. Okay, is this uh, the real answer? So let me uh, check. Uh, do I have? Uh, oh, I don't have this. Uh, Chrome with me. So do I, can I get this Chrome? I don't. Uh, Chrome will take longer time to load on my machine, but let me see. Oh, I am not even connected to the internet. So what to do? A lot of problem. Uh, just give me a second. I am there with my. I am going to connect my mobile. Uh, where is that mobile? It's not getting connected. Okay, you can try. I think. Uh, you please try on uh, the. Uh, let's uh, just a second. Connect. Okay, it's connecting, and uh, uh, I'm going to say here. Uh, what is it? Uh, factors. Uh, come on, Chrome. Factors of uh, 100. Press enter. Okay, see that the Google has an answer. Okay, let's see whether Google will give me an answer. Uh, I'm just connected, so it may take some time for uh, it to give me the answer. If the answer that is given by me, uh, the Google is proper, this is going to take terribly longer time. Hope uh, this answer is proper. Uh, somehow, accidentally, I closed uh, the Chrome here, and uh, I think uh, my net is down. BSNL is dead. Always, uh, as usual, it is dead. Okay, hope uh, you are going to check the answer. Uh, let's see. Okay, somehow, oh, the answer is from Bajus. Let's check uh, for the answer again, and uh, I'm going to type the answer as 100. Uh, let's check with the Bajus answer. Uh, again, uh, the Bajus has not paid me anything, but uh, I'm advertising it. Oops, God. where is the? Uh, it's gone again. Let me try one more time. This is the last time. Okay, press enter. 
and I'm going to get it down and I'm going to check whether my number is proper 1 to 4 5 20 1 to 4 5 uh, 10 20 50 is missing oh yeah I just missed one logic there what was that uh, mistake is uh, uh, the half should be there I missed to see that's why it is better you check one small mistake with me and that is a logical mistake that logical mistake is equal to okay let me stop this uh, uh, program sorry about that uh, this is equal to the half of it I told you any number is given to you 18 you have to go up to the half I said strictly less than means uh, half of it is 9 it will go up to 8 strictly less than means 8 9 it will not take okay so it is equal to sorry about that so let's give it a, the last try and uh, let me get the chrome also and let me cross verify my answer with the answer of chrome 100 uh, that is by use okay uh, so this is uh, 1 2 4 5 this is same 1 2 4 5 10 20 25 50 and 100 okay that's it for now thank you for your interest we will meet again in the next class